the role of gut health in thyroid function. So my name is Dr. Olivia Joseph. I've been a functional medicine practitioner for 20 years. I practice at the Wellness Connection where I've been for 18 years. And I'm also co-founder of Dr. Olivia Naturals, which is a natural supplement company to help people like my patients and people like you. Let's talk about the role of gut health and thyroid health. So the most common cause of thyroid dysfunction or low thyroid hypothyroidism is Hashimoto's. And Hashimoto's is the most common autoimmune condition in the United States. And what it is, is your immune system attacking your thyroid. And over enough time, permanent damage can occur. And over enough time, you may develop thyroid disease or hypothyroidism. So what you need to know about your gut's involvement in this is 70% of your immune system is in your gut. So if you have something like leaky gut syndrome, which is where the mucosal barrier of your gut is broken down, autoimmunity is more likely to turn on. So when I look at gut health and thyroid health, I'm checking for leaky gut. There's also something called multiple autoimmunity. What that means is if you have Hashimoto's, your risk for other autoimmune conditions is higher. So if you have Hashimoto's, your risk for celiac is higher. If you have Hashimoto's, your risk for rheumatoid arthritis is higher. If you have Hashimoto's, your risk for lupus is higher. So we wanna make sure that we prevent that. And how you prevent that is by making sure your gut is healthy. So we check things like zonulin because that's gonna tell us if you have leaky gut. And if you do have a leaky gut, higher risk for autoimmunity turning on. Another thing I want you to understand about gut health is there's actually a bacteria within the digestive tract that can trigger Hashimoto's, which can trigger low thyroid. It's called H. pylori. So H. pylori is a bacteria. What it's notorious for is stomach ulcers, but it can also cause gastritis, stomach pain, acid reflux, indigestion. So this bacteria can turn Hashimoto's on. And this bacteria can be treated through antibiotics, but believe it or not, it can be treated naturally very, very effectively. You just have to be tested for it. So you can test for H. pylori through things like blood work, you can do a stool test, you can do a breath test. If you're having an endoscopy, they can do a biopsy for it. So there's lots of ways to test for H. pylori, but it is important if you do have an abnormal thyroid or Hashimoto's that you have your gut health checked, especially be tested for leaky gut, especially be tested for things like H. pylori. So another thing I look at is secretory IgA, and that's something that you can check in other ways than just stool. I check it on a stool test. It can also be tested through blood. I think it can also be tested through saliva. I don't use saliva for it, but I'm pretty sure it can be tested through saliva too. So what does an IgA tell me? It tells me what your immune system is doing. So if it's functioning too low, I wanna find out why. Is it the health of your gut? If it's too high, is it something autoimmune? Are you ANA positive? Do you have thyroid antibodies? So I want that immune system not to work too low or too high, I want it to work just right. Another way you can tell if your immune system is functioning properly is your white blood cell count. Should be around a six. And and your neutrophil lymphocyte ratio. Neutrophils should be 60, lymphocytes should be 30. If they are flip-flopped, if that two to one ratio is not there, if they're really close, say even they're equal, like 45-45, you have a chronic viral infection and that chronic viral infection can damage your thyroid. Any virus in the herpes family, Epstein-Barr virus is the most notorious for this, can damage the thyroid. It loves to attack the thyroid. Why? Because if your immune system does not clear that virus properly, it likes to attack healthy tissue, particularly the thyroid. So what do you do if you have a chronic viral infection that your immune system can't clear? You work on the gut. So there are some probiotics out there that improve immune function, but there's no better way to approach gut health than a stool analysis because it literally gives you the roadmap to your gut health, to your immune health, to the inflammation in your gut, to digestion, to bacteria, to probiotics, to yeast, to parasites, to how well you're digesting, how bad you're digesting, Testing. You get so much information from a fecal analysis and I run a stool analysis on everybody with Hashimoto's. I run a stool on analysis on anybody with anything autoimmune because that's my roadmap to improving immune health. But that's also how I can find the connection between what is at the root cause as to why your thyroid failed you. Now, if it's not autoimmune, it could be hormonal. It could be viral. There are even things environmentally that can permanently damage your thyroid. So one way, 
you treat somebody with hyperthyroidism or Graves' disease, which is an autoimmune condition, radiate the thyroid. You actually drink radioactive iodine to kill your thyroid. So with that said, you gotta be careful with iodine because iodine can damage your thyroid in high doses if you have Hashimoto's or autoimmune thyroiditis. So you just have to have the right testing and the right testing can really give you a roadmap as to how to approach your immune health, your thyroid health, your hormone health. So if you need help finding somebody to work with, reach out to my team at The Wellness Connection and somebody on my functional medicine team will be more than happy to answer your questions, to have a consultation with you and to design a roadmap and a game plan to get you and your thyroid healthy.